Good day, human Latios Lates. This is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let's begin. So, I want to try some more challenges here. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been given too many new ones to try, or really any. So, I think we're just going to try to experiment around with what we can do here. So, Mega Heracross. Let's try this without using anything that's uh, super effective and see what happens. So, nothing super effective. Uh, I'm thinking Mewtwo is probably a good option. Hoopa. Hmm. Charizard super effective. Megazard X. Well, Shiny's, Shiny Megazard X isn't super effective, but it is before Mega Evolving, so we can't use it. Uh, I could use Salazzle, I guess. Hmm. This is quite the, uh... Quite the options here. Alright, so... Let's go Mega Aggron. Might as well have a Mega Evolution owner team. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, so we got 25 moves to do this. Here we go. Alright, Salazzle, I need you to come through. Come on, buddy. Alright. What am I doing? Alright. Uh, need to get that Mega off. Alright, let's do this. Salazzle's coming through. Alright, we got Typhlos combo that we can't do anything with, unfortunately. Alright, fortunately, Salazzle has been working pretty well. Mewtwo, not so much, though. Alright, let's get the Mega Evolution off. Alright, now... We have a chance. We can win this. You two come through. Thank you. Alright. Let's get rid of all these rocks. Alright. We're in a really good position right now. Let's do this. And, alright, let's do this, this, and let the combos happen. Let the combos roll. Pipeless combo, and we got this. This is game. Let's go! Alright. No super effective mons. Let's go. All right. You know what? I guess we're taking on Aerodactyl with the same idea. Okay, so... You know what? Shiny Zardex is resisted, so I think that's probably fair to use. Um... Alright. Unless we really wanna... If we really wanna take this, uh, take this far. If we just do, like, a full resisted team. So going with Charizard instead of Flygon. 
Well, let's just see what happens. <laughs> this is gonna be a complete disaster, let's be honest. There's absolutely no way this isn't any disaster. Let's go. Got 25 moves to do this. Here comes a disaster. Let's go. Alright, so... We're not even getting, uh, shot outs. Alright, so there's the Mega. Alright, that is actually gonna help us a little bit. Get rid of these rocks. We're only gonna have more rocks spawning anyway, but still. Let's do... Yes, alright, not sure why Wyvern isn't doing anything for us, other than the fact that it matches a three, but still. Alright, get rid of this junk here. Alright, at least Charizard's coming through. Okay. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Well, match a four. Perfect. I clicked the wrong spot, but it's not the end of the world. We can do this. Alright, these rocks have to go. Alright, so we can... That's really our only option there. Okay. It's not over yet. It is still far from over. We can do... Well, we can do this. Didn't exactly come through for us, but... That's okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, mistakes were made. I think we can all agree mistakes were made. But Charizard coming through right there. Let's go. Alright, so we can do this. Perfect. Okay. We got this. We got this. There we go. Perfect. Fully resisted team. I mean, I guess not fully, because technically... Actually, yeah, it is fully, because Veneri is still resisted. So yeah, with that, we are taking down Mega Aerodactyl with a completely resisted team. Although, actually, uh, I guess completely is not the right word, because I guess Mega Zardax is neutral. So that might cheapen it a little bit. But it's not res But it is resisted before it Mega Evolves, so... Sort of? That being said, let's go take on Mega Metacham, but... Neutral only. Neutral or resisted, nothing super effective. Nothing that is super effective. So, I think... I'm gonna switch Charizards. Let's go Mega Agron. And, uh, you know what, you can throw in... Let's throw in Sla um, Salazzle here. Yeah, let's just do it like this. See what happens. Give it a try. What's the harm? Let's have some fun. We got 22 moves to do this. Alright. Here we go. Alright, Salazzle, this is all you. This is all you. 
and you're already failing. Sadness. Okay, Charizard's coming through there. That is good. Okay. Although I feel like it's slightly cheapened by the fact that um, Pidgey is super effective. But not a whole lot I can do about that, because the only way I could really get Salazzle to, to its potential is to uh, to bring, to have an empty slot there. So the fact that it's filled with Pidgey, not my call, that's, that, that was, uh, that was Genius and Artie's call. Alright, so, let's do this. Let them fall. Alright, so... You're gonna mess with the Salazzle I had, so I guess now I gotta go for Charizard. Charizard's not gonna come through. That's okay, I can go for Salazzle right here. Do some nice damage. Do this. Get rid of this junk here. Here, here, and here. I guess I missed it, but that's okay because we're still gonna take this thing down. Alright, so that was not... that wasn't bad. That really wasn't bad. Yeah, Mega Medicham isn't very, uh, not very good against stuff that's, uh, neutral, I guess. Alright, we've done Rayquaza. Mega Mewtwo X. Alright. Um. So we've done it without a Mega at all. But let's try this without a super effective Pokemon. Okay, so... I guess we go Mega Aggron. Since, uh, Mega's... I mean, Shiny Zard X is resist- is super effective before Mega Evolving. So in order for this to really be fair... I feel like we kinda have to do it like this. Alright. Probably should bring a Typhlos Comboer, but... I'm just gonna throw in Beware here. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we've got 20 moves to do this. We do have Mewtwo here, so... That is actually nothing nothing I can do about that. Oh my goodness, it does so much damage! Alright, so... Yeah. Honestly, I think that, uh... GS just made this too easy by throwing Mewtwo in here. I mean, I didn't even leave an empty slot, so I mean, you can't really blame me. The fact they threw in Mewtwo as a non-support. So if it has Cybers, it just does so much damage. Not complaining or anything, but I feel like it's sort of cheapening the challenge a little bit. Um, and by cheapens, I mean basically, it's no longer really a challenge. Go for Mewtwo until you get a couple Cybers off, and then you pretty much win. Alright. We don't even need to get the Mega Evolution off. Do this to get rid of the barriers, and... Mewtwo, you winning. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So, this stage is remarkably easy. If you have... If you have a... A Cybers boosted Mewtwo, this stage is remarkably easy. You can use, you could probably, we could probably get away with using a resisted team here, because honestly, most of that damage came from Mewtwo anyway. Not gonna lie. Um, you know what? Just for the fun of it, let's use a resisted team. Because, you know what? This looks like fun. Okay, what do we have that is 
resisted. Uh, you know what, I think I'd rather go Mega Pinsir than Mega Heracross for this. Do we seriously not have anything else that's resisted? Eh. Could go Mega Titar. Mmm. I don't know. It takes longer to Mega Evolve, though. You know what? I never use Hydreigon. Probably for good reason, but still. Uh... Well... Uh, do we have a shot out user? That's resisted? I feel weird looking for something that's resisted, but self-imposed challenges are not exactly, um, logical. That's probably the word. Not exactly logical. Alright, we don't have any resisted shot out. The only one is, the only one is alone me out. So, yeah. Well, okay. You know what? I guess it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Let's do this. We got 20 moves to do this. We're taking on Mega Mewtwo X with a fully resisted team. All right. Um. Here goes nothing. All right. So we are gonna do. Mewtwo is coming through there. But not there. Okay, we're getting the Mega off, so that makes things a little bit easier for us. Mewtwo is coming through again. So yeah, um... Like I said, it does kind of sort of cheapen it, I guess, the fact that Mewtwo is kind of OP. Alright, let's do this and this. I know there's a Mewtwo I just got rid of, but I needed the barriers going. Alright, let's do this. Mewtwo's not coming through for us. That's okay. It's, it's not over till it's over. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I know there's a giant block right there in our way, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Mewtwo's coming through right there. But not right there, which means we're in a lot of trouble now. Alright, Rock Ruff's coming through there, which actually makes a big difference. Mewtwo is not coming through there. Oh dear. We're gonna lose, aren't we? No, Rock Ruff is coming through with the Unity Power, and with that we are taking down Mega Mewtwo X. Alright, I get that Mewtwo itself did so much damage to this thing, but... We are taking down... Mega Mewtwo X with a fully resisted team. Let's go. That is stage 350. <laughs> All right. So yes, it is certainly possible to take down both Mega Mewtwo's using only a resisted using only resisted Pokémon. Once again, just keep in mind though it does kind of throw in super effective Mewtwo as a non-support even if you don't have an empty slot open, so that stage is actually... Mega Mewtwo X is actually a remarkably easy stage by that logic if you have a tapper. But, 
that being said, um, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to suggest challenges as well for me to try, because I'm always looking for new challenges to, uh, to, to, give, a, uh, to give a shot to uh, coming up. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.